Yeah, you are too good. Yes. That's not going to be a continuity. This is about that. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me see. Perfect. When, when I was coming, um, first of all, I'm very sorry for you know, the delay. We had some few, you know, it was a few hours. But I'll say, we need to go to the house. We need to go to the house. When I was coming to our staffs and I was you know, told and I was warned that we need a mommy Jessica, Jessica after teaching. So can we do that? It's, it's, um, the last workshop that I had was a paid event. Who was the last? Was it last year or last year? Who was it? Last year. No, KBS was a free event. So the next one. I'm talking about the workshop. I the workshop guys there. It was like, how much was it? 400 to 400 people, right? So it was a paid event. But this is my last, you know, should I say my last weekend in this country. So I just felt like, you know, when. Um, there's our president to reach out to us. So, like, we should, you know, do this. We had this plan somewhere Tuesday or Wednesday, and I wasn't even expecting this number. For the workshop here, like 100 people or 50 people should come, but we have a full house, and I want to thank you guys for, you know, for, for coming. Right, so I want to waste much time. I want to use just one hour and 30 minutes. You can stand up, stretch yourself before we get in. You can stand up if you want to. You did You did just go. All right, so big shout to COD. He's a, he's a guy that I'm, I always buy my house for. And I see you did well. Um, and Fred Eric um, and Mr. Daniel. All right, so give them a big, big you know, shout. All right, so how many people know about training? You know about trading. Okay, how many people don't know about trading at all? Oh, you have a few hands. All right, perfect. Um, how many people are profitable? Mumuska, Mumu, then we'll explain to you, we'll explain to you, then I'm going to do accounts. How do you do accounts? Sorry, perfect. Okay, first hand, did you guys get your package? I, I, I don't want to forget. Okay, so first hundred, those that came, the first time when you grab an SDA, make sure that you get your, your, your gift before we leave here. If you're not sure about it, we'll be a... All right. All right. So let's, let's then. I know, I know you... What was in um, UPSC? Last, was it last year? Last two years? Last year. So when we had over the hand. And we are going to... Today, I want to teach. All right. So how we came with your book, your pen, your laptop. So you see again. Anna. Uh, all right. So... Um, Tell you a story, five minute story before you know, I start. Everyone asks Elvis, how are you able to, you know, a young guy here? I'm, I'm, I'm just 25 years, that's my age. It made me come, so I was born 31st July 1998. Right, I'm just 25. This year I'll be 26. And imagine I completed med school last year. I did one year of service, not one year, like some few months of service in Europe, then and I retired because I didn't feel like, I felt like spending, scaling, scaling, like scaling, we've, like we've been seeing money. Imagine when I was in third year or fourth year med medical school, I made $50,000, $10,000, Prince Harry, I've loaned $10,000, $5,000, and when we leave school, now over here, Juma or you know, hospital, and they are paying like $2,000, $3,000. Do you think I'll be satisfied? Exactly. So this is where I want to challenge you guys, right? Some most people ask, how did you start? That is a big question. How did you how do I as a Ghanaian youth start from somewhere ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars? How do I now grow this kind of capital? How many people have fifty dollars in their account? Like fifty to hundred dollars in their account? More than hundred dollars. More than hundred dollars. So we are all below hundred dollars. Hello, how many staff are? 
where his boys in pass me, you know, or so you know, they like. And get some book, get money, pass me, sir. Who said who said it? Come. We are, we are, come. Come pick up the boys. Much alright. Much alright. Alright, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. All right, so um, I like that. Oh, I don't know. All right, so that, that's just by the way. Let's, let's pick your pen, pick your books. If you have a laptop, pick it. If you have a laptop, you can. Why was the Wi Fi? Yes, my Wi Fi is on. I don't know what it is. Or you guys will need just a book. Okay, fine. Fine enough. Um, it's cheap, guys. How to take my mind out and. Um, execution. The execution is how to go small accounts or how to flip small accounts. Then you will be done for the day. All right, so let's get straight into it. Now, there are several things in trading. For those that don't know about trading, we have the Forex, right? I've been saying this always, always, but I need to still say it. Okay. Forex stocks, um, synthetics. And cryptocurrencies. Forex, stocks, synthetics, cryptocurrencies. Now, when we say forex, yes, foreign exchange, forex, foreign exchange. See, maybe, maybe like that. I'll be fast. Now, forex in a nutshell, right? The word forex means foreign exchange. Exchanges in foreign currencies. So that means Ghana City is, is, an, what, is, is a currency. Nigeria spends what? Naira is a currency. Um, USA spends USD is a currency. So what we traders are doing, right, is we are trying to trade this. We are trying to make profit of the rates of this whole currency. For example, what is the current rate of, of Ghana of Ghana City? I think talk on something. Perfect. So imagine it this way, right? If the rate of um, CBs is 12.0 currently, and I feel like, or I think that this rate is going to go to 13, what do I buy? What do I do? I try to, you know, put a stake on it, predicting that the rate of Ghana CBs will go high and I make money. If I feel like, or if I think, or if my analysis serves me right, and I think that is going to drop below to let's say eleven point zero. That means I'm going to put a stake that you know uh, the rate is going to what depreciate or go down and I make money. I guys get to my point. Yeah. Any questions? So that's basically what we are trying to put a stake at the current rate of every you know country. When it goes up in Yesca, it goes down in Yesca. But if, let's say if we want it to go up, right, and it goes against us, what do we do? Lose. So people do ask me what's the difference between this and betting. Last time on Twitter, I had um, like two or three days ago, someone was telling me that betting is a skill set. On the skill set now, he was, he was telling me that go, go. I can, I can, I can stay on a meter like that. He says I can stay on a meter for the uh, for two hours, and I know we need numbers anymore. We need, we need, we need. How I play with you. I see with me, I say, and, and listen, I agree at the point because at the point I was doing better. Who was on my better telegram? I think 2018, right? Who was there? Obenia. No Obenia. You are there. Huh? Much more. Much more. 2018, I was doing better even before trading. 
Right, I know wait, and the Lord is out me yes, basket, but I used to sell all. Like what uh, this guy, I'm watching it in the key here. I was doing the same thing those days, but yeah, share M1 in the HI. M1, it's down there. You're just, you're just going to win, you lose, you win, you lose. And I always say this that anything that you keep trying and you keep doing and it's not working, bro. Like, they be behave. You can start trading and you've been trading for some years and you feel like it's not working. Bro, football on school. That's why they're school. <laughs> if not everyone has started going to be a business master class, that's going to be you know, successful. For me, I tried, I listen, let me tell you seriously this. I've never told you this. I tried being a real estate agent. Me for six months, I'm in poor time, but I'm in I'm in poor time, but I'm in poor time. I'm in poor Some people go six months and they keep doing the same stuff. They keep doing the same thing. And there's no yielding results. You just sit down and think about this. How long have you heard about trading? How long have you heard about betting? How long have you heard about a high income still and you started doing something and you know, you've been trying, you know you are doing your best. And sometimes, I don't really blame us, I don't really blame you, I blame the kind of, you know, Sick. havoc surrounding us. When I say havoc, we put a pressure on us. So, we are doing fine again. We are doing fine again. We are doing fine again. We are, you know, Family distress and girlfriend is or you're looking at to this. Now, Snapchat is right here. That's the answer. You get me? So, let's continue. So, we have Forex or synthetic scripting. Forex, I've explained it. Is, so, just name, with the explanation, the little explanation that, that I gave, just name um, in a crowd way. Let's name some few kinds of players that you know. Heroes. Heroes is meant by which country? Is used by which country? Okay. European country. European country. Switch European country. Okay. Okay, good. And all those things. And US and all those. So those fall under what currencies. And let's talk about stocks. Stocks, basically, we are talking about companies. I, I get this. I've talked this before, so I'm not going to you know, waste more time. I want to get into the deep portion of, of, of the whole trading. Right now, when we talk about stocks, it's divided into two. You can write it. Stocks. Now, for it, I have it for it. How many guys are writing? Oh, hey, man, you want to trade? I'm going to do I know you guys know these knowledge. We are, we, are, we are still moving on, okay? Happy time, All right? Stocks is divided into two. We have the stock index and the stock what? Core stocks. So, index is basically a summary of or a combination of all stocks companies coming together. For example, what company do you guys know in Ghana? Like you mentioned some random companies, MTN, Supermall, Superbet, how the Empire comes, Superbet, uh huh, if we're favorite from Coca Cola and all those things. Now, listen, imagine all these companies coming together to form something, it becomes what an index. Get a different stocks. I'm a stock trader. I professionally do trade stocks more than even currencies now. So I know I, I want you guys to pay attention to this before we even get up to it. I don't want to write anything, so please listen. That's why I said this story. Don't tell us, so let me know, okay? Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, I'm with this guy. Right, so stocks is divided. Stocks is divided into two. Index and core. Index and core. Now, when we talk about index, like I said, it's a summary, a, a, a summary of what many companies coming together to form what an index. And when you talk about core, core means we are dealing with one particular stock. One particular stock. So I may be trading Coca Cola, I may be trading MTN, I may be trading. As a purple, it is a. I will be trading, um, mention them, Apple and all those. Now, it's the same thing that I explained. 
right? So the same thing that I explained, but the rates that we use on forest, when you come to stock, we yeah. are, you know, when you go to the, I'll show you guys on the chart soon, in 15 minutes, I'll show you everything on the chart. When you go to the price of, let's say, Apple, and the price of Apple is, let's say, 100, 100, that is the price of Apple. Now, if we are predicting that the price of Apple should go up, and it goes up above 100, we are making money. If it goes below 100, we are losing money. If our prediction says it should go up, I get the whole clue. So, forest meaning we are trading what? Currency. I'll show you everything about the piece. This is my personal piece. Okay. And stocks is we are dealing with what? Companies. Now, let's talk about synthetics. Synthetics, the meaning of synthetics is actually an artificial kind of product. Someone created, we've been an intimate thing of self, so we are a that. No, it's nasty. And our creativity, you know, to me, do not see anything. So it's a great man to be there. I don't advise students to go with sex synthetics from the start. Right? We tell our synthetics. But that's what I love to do. I love synthetics because you can use one dollar. Who, who saw my challenge? I use one dollar to be the boy saying, I'm going to put a thousand every year. Not two thousand. I use thousand, one dollar to, I think, six thousand million, and then I grew everything. Back to zero, we want to. We are going to learn a lot of things. And crypto, crypto is for the big dons. Which is in here? Which is in top? We will have talked about crypto. And um, crypto writes this down to subdivided into two. Cryptocurrencies is subdivided into two. Are we there? We have the alts and the core. Alts and the core. Now, all points, I will explain it on the chat. Everything, I want to use a chat soon. If I don't want to write anything or use anything. Um, so, when we talk about all points, no more all points. All right, so all points is anything aside BTC. Anything that you hear about aside BTC or ATT is an all point. Solana, BNP, and all those things, they are all all points. I'll show you guys how to invest in them. Now, with cryptocurrency, it works this way. It works differently from forex, stocks, synthetic script. And I'll help you when we are doing an education session. I'll help you and I'll guide you into how to invest. If you have ten dollars, you find something to, to work with today. If you have hundred dollars, you find something to work with today. If you have a thousand dollars, you find something to do it, to work with today. It's a workshop, so we are doing everything practically. I don't want to come and talk. Cast out with me about that. Me and Jason about that. I want us to use the PC to work today. Are we good? Right, so people can see that, right? Yeah, the subdivided into two. That's the core and the main. Right, so, um, sorry, the odds and the core. The odds is the anything, just write anything aside BTC. We all, we've all heard about Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So everyone asks, what is Bitcoin? So anything aside Bitcoin is an odds. That means alternative is an odds. And Bitcoin is actually the core. It governs the whole, um, the whole cryptocurrency. Any questions? Yeah. It's a workshop, so let's, let's, let's go. If you have any questions, ashes, can you get It's not that thing, but we don't have it down with it. So we're going to be taking some demo trades today. I'm going to teach you a simple strategy and I'm going to use it to trade. Now, we need to trade to the hey, you want to trade to the name of the And then you have that and you go, you go, I'm okay. So you need meta trader for download it now. If you have it already, fair enough. Meta trader for on App Store or on Play Store. Meta trader for or meta trader for. Download it now. And the second thing that you need is tradingview.com. It's on the screen. Tradingview.com. Uh, trading Are you there? Are you guys already at this, right? Perfect. And the next thing that you need is Akuma. See Akuma. Hats. Very, very important point that most readers don't tell you. You need hats. This game eh, is a game of hearts. Game of hearts. Listen, I, 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 was it the year 2020? Before the COVID days, I think the most important, at least every trader, I can't tell every trader will be able to make their own analysis 
without needing to buy anyone's course. Like, yeah. come and buy my course at the store. Let me see me. Amen. Right. Amen. And I'm on board. You see, because people were demon. First day, $20, then they went to $50, then $100, they said they had $350. Come on, right? Yes, I know. Me just can answer the problem. I didn't hear me. All right. So it says rebranding. You just need to rebrand everything to you. I'll talk about that later. Let's 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 Right now, Forex, you see something on trading view, yeah. This is trading view. Now trading view is make I first need some question. What is uh trading view? I always say trading view is a type of view. Then I'll continue. Now trading view is where we make analysis. Proper analysis. You can't take a trade without this. You can't tell you a trader without this. This is what you need. Are we there? You can't. If you haven't even traded before, just know that you need this tradingview.com. Now, when you come to tradingview.com, this is what you need. You see. The very first thing you see is you see it. You even need all these tools. I see a lot of traders using, you know, a lot of Bar parting, focus, Fibonacci. I don't do those things. I'm not saying that they don't do the right thing, but I don't do that. I'd rather make sure I keep my chart screen. So this is the whole chart, right? I'm going to explain it. Now, when you cut the chart, you see this is the first thing that you see. This is where the arrow is. What do you see? You see time. So we call it time frame. TF, not the fact. TF is time frame. So we use terms. The first thing that you need to know is time put is Canada. Now it's coming very near. I thought we didn't be confident in But I remember. It's the field itself. So you just will do $3,000. It means check on sticks. So $3,000 is the picture, right? So the very first thing that you need is time frame, right? Here, time frame. Now, you see 12 hours, right? 12 months, sorry. 1 D, 1 hour, and you see these stuff. Are we there? Now, whenever you come to this whole thing, right? Oh, back to you know, I'm taking a seven second for her. What do you call TF? What the fact and a time frame? And that's it. Perfect. Now, when you come, this comes to the 12 months. Tap on it. What do you see here? Once in the market, uh, the chart is less than way. So let me break it down to you. Now, when you see this, this is a presentation of a 12 months. How the market has been moving for 12 months. So from year one, you want to ask a question? Yeah. Let me ask answering questions. This is a thing I want to be supposed to be some of my matches. Oh, you recruit a little. See this. You do not answer it. Um, please, if you are using a phone, you have something to call for court. You are going to do it on the chat. Tell me if you support the resistance. I am going to do support in the resistance in a different way to you guys. Who said okay? Nice, nice. You just got it. Oh, this. Right, so now when I say uh, resistance, that means the thing is about me. It's just like you are um, throwing a ball. Yes, the ceiling. You, you really follow me. So it's a ceiling and what? A floor. And we are here. So this is the floor, this is the ceiling. So I get auto ball, posture, cry, and a posture, and a ready. That is the whole explanation of trading that I've mat matured you. Yeah. 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 Right, so this is the whole thing. Whatever goes up comes down. Whatever comes down goes up. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. So this is the, if you see this candlestick, this is the high and this is the low. I get to me, this is the high and this is what's the low. Now let's go back to the chart. 
So everything that you see here, right, the last table here, over here, what is the highest and what is the lowest from here? You can see this is the lowest of this last table and this is the highest of this last table. Am I confusing you? Direct to Zoom, we got direct to this. What's going to help you? Yeah, what do you want to write? Okay, but it's okay, it's okay. So, what I explained to you was look at the table schedule very carefully. This is one candle. This is the high of that candle. And I use that as an illustration that we are in a room. We have the ceiling, we have the floor. When you're breaking it down, it's just like the support and what the resistance. I give you a costume the arena of the bathroom. I give you a walk on the lady of the costume. You've understood that. Now let's go back to the chat. Always, room number one, always be looking at the last candle. Room number one, always be looking at the last candle. So you try to ask yourself, what is the high and low of that last candle? What is the resistance and support of that last candle? What is the ceiling and the roof of that last candle? I've already explained what the candle state is. So this is the last candle. And uh, so what is the lowest of that last candle? You see it's somewhere here, and the height of that last candle was way somewhere what there. Are we there? Are we there? Yes. Are you sure? Any questions? You have a question to ask? Yes, sir. Please clear the microphone. We have one, the monthly time. There's a way we trade and a way we look at the monthly time frame. There's a way we look and trade on the daily time frame. There's a way we look and trade on the hourly time frame. And there's a way we perceive the, uh, the minutes time frame. I'm going to break everything down. So this is the monthly time frame. Monthly time frame, you are only interested in the last candle, the highs and lows of the last candle. That's all you need to do on the monthly time frame. Are you getting this? Monthly time frame, over in the charts in the swap. Or if you see this, like I said, you forget about everything. These are all noise. Let's come to where the TF is. That's where you're interested. And come to maybe after one month, three months, six months. And when you get there, right, so I'm interested in the uh, the last candle. First of all, you're interested in the last This is the last candle. Okay. Um, last candle. What was the uh, the lowest point that last, last candle got to? And what is the height of that last one? That's what we need to do on that monthly time frame. So over now, listen, pay attention to this. This part is, is where I oh, I spend I normally spend 10 minutes on this 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 piece and I know what I'm looking for on the chat. So if you can get this from you already a trader. Hello. All right, so pay attention to this part very well. Now weekly time frame, we are trading for the week. Today is Saturday and tomorrow is Sunday. So whenever I come to the chat, I do something that we call weekly outlook. And this is the time frame that I use. So that means I know what I'm looking for for the week. So if this one is going to buy, if I'm going to buy Ghana cities, I know that I'm going to what? Is this time frame that's going to help me know that I'm going to you know, look for buys or look for sales. If you get this thing wrong, that will be going to trade. You're going to lose. Right, and whatever that you are going to do on this weekly time frame, pay attention. Whatever you're going to do on this weekly time frame, stick to it throughout the week. If your bias is saying that um, US dollars has to be strong, if your bias is saying US dollars has to be strong, you have to be strong US dollars the whole week. Don't see US the dollar being weak and you say that no buy us not because no no let me no stick to your plan. Believe me, you know sometimes you know I, I get it when you see some of us, you know, sometimes you know, like I say buy US 30. I've been trading US 30 for a little over four or five years. But we are already trading US 30 one year, few months. If I say buy US 30, if I call them, I'm not saying 
the words. So listen, if you understand this skill, right? If you understand what or if you know what you're doing to so work, don't take anything from me gurus. Do your thing. If you're waiting by us, it's a buy. Just just go on the chat and be waiting for you know entries. During the education part, we're going to talk about it. Now, pay attention to this. Let me zoom it out a bit. Now, on the weekly time, we are looking at weekends. The very first thing is we are looking out for what year are we currently in? What year are we currently in? Now, look downstairs. I right, look, look down. You see 2024 here. You see 2024 here. We are currently in 2024. The next thing we ask ourselves what current month are we in? What current month are we in? Pay yeah, attention. Good. So let's zoom and try to get Jerry on the screen. Let's try to get Jerry on the screen. So this is the start of 2024, so basically that's Jamie. Right, now you ask yourself this question. What is the, like the first question is what? What year are we in? The next question you ask yourself is what? What current months are we in? And the last question you ask yourself is what is the previous month from the current month? Which is what? December. I guys get to it. Three questions, a very simple analysis. So from the monthly time frame, you ask yourself the, uh, the last year, those, the highs and lows, we, uh, we understand that when you come to the weekly time, just with this for only the weekly time frame, weekly time frame, you ask yourself what current year are we in, that's 2024. 2024, you ask yourself again, um, what current month are we in, that's Jimmy. And you ask yourself again, what is the previous month from what, Jimmy, which is what, December. So we are going to do our analysis between what, December and what January. We don't care about whatever happened in November, October, September. We don't care. We are trying to focus on what is happening in the market now. We are trying to make profit from what is happening in the market now. The focus is on now. Tomorrow we'll think about it. So whatever has happened is what is done. I get it. Perfect. Now let's get straight into it. So if you do understand that this is what you, the next thing that you do. Right, you ask yourself the same question that I asked. What is the highest and lowest point between January and December? Between December and January. I get it. So let me break it down. The one is a bit sticky, but I'm going to still manage it. Okay, perfect. So, this is it. This is the whole. Pay attention. Monthly, uh, for the monthly time frame, I told you guys that it's focused on what? The one candle. But on the weekly time frame, we are only focusing on what? Between December and what? January. Whatever happened before January, before December, no the concern. Hello. Uh, Try repeat again. Try repeat again. Now I'm good. You forget about whatever you see. I told you on the monthly time. Let's talk about weekly time. So when it comes to the weekly time, it is it's written for me in one week. We are trying to make an analysis for the whole week to guide us through the whole week. Are we there? So the very first question that you ask yourself is what is the current year that we are in? That's really the report. You have your answer. What's the current month that we are in? Jamie, what is the previous month from Jamie? December. Now imagine we're doing in April. How would our analysis be? March. 2024. March. April. March. Imagine we're in September. 2024, September. August. I get it. So we are trying to make a kind of um, analysis from the current month and the previous month. So what we ask ourselves is, 
between December and between uh, January, that's 2024, what is the highest point of price in the and what is the lowest point of price in the Now follow through. When you come here, use this tool. I will use four or five tools. There are over 75 tools. I will use four of them. That is the horizontal line. You can take a picture. This is my previous tool. This and the, the rectangle to go down my previous tool. Very nice. So I repeat what I said again. We are good. We are good. No, repeat. Okay, perfect. So this is where the time frame is. You need one. So if you come to the training, this is what you need. Right? This is the very first thing that you need. Yes, you need to go. I can't have a lot of water for you. You need to go. All right. So on a weekly time frame, right, this is what you need. Now, pay attention. The second trend, there's a tool called the trend line tool on your left. Have you seen it? Just come here, go to horizontal line, and use this. I know you don't understand, but let me explain it. Now, look here. Between January and December, what is the highest point price came you know, or, or the highest or lowest point price going to between this December and January. Or share between a and a half. Yes, you can just do the marker between December and between, you know, January. We are only focused on here. This, whatever happened before November, October, September, we are not interested in. So between, you know, December and January, that's between this and that. What is the lowest point price going to? What is the highest point price going to? You can see the lowest point price going to between December and January was what? Somewhere here. Are you following it? And between December and um, January, what do you think the highest point or the highest point the market went to? Between December. It's somewhere here, right? So we put it here. Am I making sense? So should I repeat it? Anyone ask a question? I'll repeat it in one minute. Pay attention. Because you need to get this before we come up the next day. My go to lines, my way. I know what I'm looking for for the day. Hello.